well. And again, I will explain more about motivation by grace. Motivation by grace has to be specific, specific related to that topic. Yes. To respond, like to encourage people to pray, then you want to say, God is happy to hear our prayer. God has God knows our needs before our prayer, before we pray, and God wants to have blessings pour upon our life. So when we pray, we receive these blessings. When we pray with faith. Now, so it's related to that um, prayer. And then to motivate people to serve God. Then we say, when we serve God, God is very happy. When we serve with a pure heart. When we serve with a pure heart to love God and love people, God is very happy and God will remember. Because it says that even a cup of cold water, God will remember and He will reward for sure. So God remembers every little good thing we have done for Him and He will reward us. So that motivates us to want to serve God. And then when people are not willing to serve God, then they are also motivation by the law. Matthew 25 talks about that people who don't you know, bury their talents, they could be sent out in the darkness and gnashing of teeth. And then, uh, and then the third parable, the sheep and the goats, those who don't do to the little ones, they also will go into eternal punishment. So these are the warning. Now when we say the warning, we have to say this very clearly. We are not saved by doing good. We are not saved by serving God. We are saved by grace, grace, the grace of God. Jesus died for us. With faith, when we trust in Jesus, then we are saved. But when we are saved, our life will be changed to bless people, to, uh, to serve God. And then God sees that we serve God, He is very happy and He will reward us. So the motivation is related to uh, to the uh, whatever you want them to motivate them to do. And you can have the motivation by grace first, and then motivation by the law also. We, we need both, okay? Uh, it depends on the people sometimes, and also, now there are other motivations too, to serve God. When we bring the gospel to them, the whole life will be blessed. So this is seeing the good result coming to people. This, these people will be, the whole life will be blessed, they will receive blessings of God, so that motivates us also to save these people. So there can be different motivation. I'm just, I, I simplify and just gave you two, but there can be more. Yeah. For instance, you don't want people to go to hell, that's another motivation. We don't want them to go to hell, we want them to have eternal life. And to motivate people to pray, there are other motivations. If people don't pray, now that's the most serious. People don't pray, they're not in Jesus, they could lose salvation. The branch that is not in the vine, they could be uh, cut out and then thrown into the fire. And also there are other motivations to pray. How many of you have burdens sometimes? And sadness and worries? When we pray and put all these things in the hand of God, God's presence comes and then the burdens will go away and then we can experience His joy and strength. So these are some other motivation. So there are more than that. There are all kinds of motivation in the Bible. The more you read the Bible, the more you find. But you notice that there is uh, the grace of God and then the, also the law of God. But there are different uh, areas. Now there are two persons who said this. God will satisfy our desires. Now this wording is found in the Bible, but I want to say this, be very careful. Because sometimes people could have selfish desires. And then God doesn't necessarily satisfy our desires or satisfy our needs. Uh, but our needs, He will satisfy. But what we want, it doesn't necessarily satisfy. So be very careful. Whenever we teach, we have to find out if this is biblical, if the Bible supports that. Because in the book of James, it does talk about people who, they don't get it because they don't ask. And then some people don't, 
get it because they ask in a wrong way for selfish desires. So when people have selfish desires, they don't necessarily get what they want. Okay? So uh, these people I give back to you, and then you will do it again. But the address, there are some, I, I, I still have to correct it. But I thank you. I appreciate that you would work on it. And I, I'm very happy with this. And you will be able to do it better and better. I, I, I did write on the sheet uh, what I'd like you to work on. So, uh, and I hope you don't mind that I give it back to you. God bless you.